Hi all. So next topic, uh, let us see something about the continuation of this uh, like thermal processing. One of the method is the freeze concentration. So what we all know about freeze concentration is it is this method is nothing but it is mainly used to overcome two important limitations of thermal concentration which are volatile components that are uh, lost and the product quality degradation due to heat. So it is it has primarily been used where quality considerations are important and uh, important volatile components to be retained. As in the concentration of beer and wines and concentration of coffee before dry, freeze drying. So this is something general introduction about freeze concentration. So how the process is involved is nothing but this uh, process uh, crystallize the water to ice as a primary step. Then removal of those ice crystals that are formed during freezing. Then followed by washing and mechanical separation techniques. This process has been started. Then in freeze concentration the preservative effect similar to the thermal concentration is being attained by reducing the water activity of the particular fruit by without using heat. And as a result sensory characteristics and the nutritional properties improved which is not in the case with thermally concentrated foods. And uh, the process involved uh, is much slower than the conventional and the membrane concentration. And uh, like high capital investment is needed in combination with high in cost due to refrigeration and results in high production cost or the freeze concentrated foods. Here the degree of concentration is much lower than the thermal concentration but it is little higher than the membrane concentration. So coming to like um, uh, what happens is that the degree of the solute concentration is calculated for freezing of the freezing by using the freezing point curves. So here the efficiency of the separation in form of crystals is being calculated by efficiency of separation uh, which is equal to the weight fraction of the ice in the frozen mixture before separation that we are multiplying it with. Uh, in the numerator, we have weight fraction of the solids in freezing after freezing and weight fraction of the solids in ice after separation by the weight fraction of the solids in freezing after freezing by the weight fraction of the juice before freezing. So by in this way, we can calculate the efficiency of the freezing. And free, this is the picture where the freeze concentration plant. So how the freeze concentration process takes place so in this diagram you can see there is a feeding tank for the product uh, to be placed and where it is being connected with the connector connecting valve and uh, where in the uh, in the center we have a uh, big tank uh, where uh, the recrystallization process takes place and whereas it is being also connected to an uh, scrapped heat exchanger that is in order to remove the um, unwanted uh, particles from the uh, particular uh, product that we are going to freeze concentrate and as well as it will separate and give us the concentrate alone separately from the uh, action of the growth recrystallizer uh, and uh, after which uh, it goes to the separation column and wash column where it is been that column is being attached with the heater and the water for the separation and washing operation this is the complete setup of the freeze concentration plant. So how this works? These plants are essentially used in food industry for concentration of the liquid products which consists of crystallization then growth of ice crystals that is followed by separation. Mainly as, I, as we saw in the diagram it consists of scrapped uh, surface heat exchanger and a recrystallizer. So what happens in uh, SSHE that is the scrapped surface um, heat exchanger is the uh, ice nuclei that are formed at the inner surface of high supercooling and rest residence time and these nuclei are then scrapped off by scrapping blades based on the Gibbs Thompson effect nuclei grow in ice crystals in a recrystallizer then these crystals are separated from the concentrate using the high pressures pressured water columns then what happens is the ice crystals with the high purity are much uh, cons I mean um, uh, considered for the system so concentration is done either in a single stage or the multi-stage processing. Likewise by using multi-stage will consume less energy and they will give a high production rates. And a freeze concentration plant applications when we see 
so application is nothing but um, like uh, with improvements in technology uh, for producing large ice crystals along with efficient washing leads to maximum higher concentration to 45 percentage and also with uh, maximum 40 percent of acetic acid it concentration of coffee prior to both freeze and spray drying uh, we'll achieve a concentration of 45 percent so this is about uh, a short uh, topic on freeze concentration thank you